Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Uh, even, even if you want liberation, or if you want mystic powers, if you want sense qualification, what to speak if you want Krishna Prema? Should go out on Harinam. So Harinam will fulfill all of your desires, without a doubt, because the Lord is present. It's like somebody gives you God's card, his own personal business card. Are you guys just gonna file it and you know on top of the other cards? Are you gonna throw it in the garbage, or are you gonna call? Mm. So this is the call. Somebody gives you God's card, you should call right away. And there is business for everybody. So our business in this age is to chant the holy name. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who is there or who is not. Prabhupada was told by his own spiritual master, Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Jankur, if nobody shows up, just chant for the four walls. You will get benefit anyway. So the program that you're doing is ultimately to benefit you because you you know we may try to spread the mercy and try to give other people the holy name and that's wonderful but basically it's the best thing for you so if along the way you can take everybody else back to God that's wonderful mm -hmm. but just remember this is this is for your own purification for your own advancement so never give it up even if you're the last one left, everybody else left and went to their bum. Just you know, keep doing this. Keep going back to God. And then there will be nothing nothing left for you to hanker. You, all of your material desires will be done at that time. You're going to burn everything. Just like right now, we are forging, we are making our next body. Just mentally we are shaping it according to how we live and how we think and the things we do we are shaping our next life the body that we're going to have in the next life so if you're actually chanting Hare Krishna well guess you're shaping your next body and it's not going to be around here it's going to be what the Hare Krishna said I was thinking you know coming to a gathering um, with all people that I don't know. But then I, I took a second look and this I was thinking, no, this is, these are people I, I'm gonna be with you know, for a long time to come. I was reading a book by Nityananda Das, a disciple of Janava Mata, Lord Nityananda's wife, uh, called Prema Vilas. And there was a chapter where uh, the author was introducing some of the characters, some of the, and then there is this devotee and that devotee, and these are his children and his grandparents, and this little village where they live. And, and I was thinking, why should I read all this? It's just a list of names. It's a whole, you know, a very large chapter full of names. But no, this is my family. This is, this is a relatives that I never met, that I, I'm gonna actually meet. Just like when you, when you hear, uh, when you see a list of your, you know, second cousins and uncles that you never met, that they are somewhere in Estonia, far away from you, and you start reading their names individually. So I, I actually started reading. This is my family. This is I, I should, I should know the names. I should learn the names of the people I'm gonna live for the rest of my existence. So, Hari Nam is. It's a ticket. It's a one-way ticket. No refunds. You go back to God and then you don't have to deal with anything. It's a fix it all. If one thing can fix everything, every one of your problems and desires, yeah. that is hard enough. So you're doing the right thing. I hope many people join you in your quest. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs>
was talking a couple of years ago with um, with a Swami friend of mine, and I asked him, "What do you meditate on in general? What do you try to meditate on?" And he said, "I try to meditate on." Passages from a Krishna book, how Vrindavan is and Krishna and you know the gopis and how Radharani arranges the flowers on her hair and, and then he started quoting from from a Krishna book, word by word. You know that, that was his meditation. I was I was very impressed, but this is not what it's way beyond my reach. So I was thinking. My meditation is especially during Kirtan. And I meditate on the pleasure of Krishna and his devotees. I try to meditate on the pleasure of the deities. And that's when a, when a regular Kirtan goes on when I'm singing. But when the Kirtan gets really good, by Krishna's grace, then I I pray that Krishna may kill me at that very moment because I'm probably not going to have an experience like that ever again. So this is a good time to go. So this is, but this is not a morbid thought. You know, I want to, I want to die. I want to kill myself. I, I'm just thinking, this is so rare. This is so rare. This is such a precious moment that I actually can hear the name. I can understand. It. Krishna and his name are not different. I, I don't want any thoughts passed down. Okay. Okay. Hare Thank you. I, I never saw the devotees until I, I joined, basically. I saw them, saw the devotees only once uh, in the subway. And they were in, in, in Argentina. And they weren't, they weren't chanting. They were selling books and incense. So I don't, I don't really remember, you know, any Hari, I had never seen any Harinams until I joined. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the devotees asked me when I, when I went to the temple for the first time, if I have seen the Harinam party. If I, I came because I got a book from a Harinam party, I said, no, I actually never seen, never seen you guys before. I, this is my first experience, but, but I heard just a little bit of the philosophy, just a little bit. Just say I'm not the body, I'm a spirit soul, and that was enough to convince me. So I'm, I'm ready to join. And matter of fact, in the first day, my first official day as a bhakta, because when I joined, I had a, a backpack and also a saxophone that mm -hmm. I carried with me. So the devotees assumed that I was a musician, and somebody pinned uh, Harinam Chadar to a harmonium, to the both, both handles, and they put it around my neck, and they sent me downtown, and they said, okay, you're gonna just chant Hare Krishna all day while dancing. And I said, well, I, I know the mantra, I just learned it, but I don't know any melodies. And they said, just, you know, Yellow Submarine by the <laughs> Beatles? I said, yeah. Okay, just sing Yellow Submarine to the Maha Mantra. So I went out, my first official day as a bhakta, downtown, with a Harinam Chadar and a heavy harmonium. And I played all day and I chanted Yellow Submarine, Hare Krishna. <laughs>